to file statement of invert supplies, all UIN holders must fill the required details in Form GSTR 11. This can be done using the offline utility or directly online on the GST portal. This video will guide you how to file GSTR 11 online. Log in to the GST portal with your credentials and from your dashboard screen click Return Dashboard. Select the financial year and return filing period from the drop down and click Prepare Online on the GSTR 11 box that appears below. Click the 3A Details of Invoices Received tile and the Add Details button. On this page, enter the GSTIN of the supplier in Supplier GSTIN field. This will auto-populate Supplier Name, POS and Supply Type fields And the screen will expand downwards and more fields will appear for entering details of the invoice. The amount of tax fields are auto-populated based on the values entered in taxable value fields. Enter the CES amount if applicable. Click Save and your entered details are saved. Similarly, you can add more invoice details using Add Details button or Edit Delete the saved details using the icons provided in the Action column. After adding all details, click Back. Click the 3B Details of Credit or Debit Notes Received tile and click the Add Details button. Enter GSTIN and all other relevant details just as you entered the invoice details in the 3A tile. Click Save. Then click Back to proceed for filing of GSTR 11. Click the Preview button to check the summary of entries made in both the tiles. In case of any discrepancy, Go to that particular tile and modify details as required. After filing your return, you won't be allowed to make any changes in your GSTR 11 for the current period. Select the Declaration checkbox and click File Return. A pop-up is displayed again reminding you that the refund amount reflecting here will be posted in RFD 10 and no changes can be done to the return after filing. Click Yes to file the return. Select the Declaration checkbox and the Authorized Signatory. Now click File with DSC if you have Digital Certificate or click File with EVC for system verification to file the return. A green message on the top of the file page indicates that return is filed. This is the acknowledgement reference number, which will be sent to your registered email and mobile as well. Also, status is changed to filed and generate RFD 10 button is enabled this means now that GSTR 11 is filed for the quarter. No more changes can be done to this return period. Click the Generate RFD 10 button to proceed for filing of refund of taxes paid. The Embassy or International Organization radio button and the Financial Year and Quarter fields will be auto-populated. Click the Create button to proceed. The yellow header area on the top auto displays the UIN details and the status of refund application as draft. 
amounts in table details of the tax paid on purchases as reported under GSTR 11 from corresponding GSTR 11 are auto populated carefully verify the details and in case you want to claim the refund amount which is less than the amount displayed you can easily edit the table also, in no case the amount of refund can be more than the respective values of tax or cess. For example, if I GST amount is 100 in GSTR 11 and is auto populated, then you can edit the amount to 99 but not to 101. The table refund amount to be claimed will be auto populated based on the entered values in the table above. Now select the bank account number from the drop down list in which you wish to receive the refund. Make sure you carefully read note and important message boxes on this page before proceeding ahead. Once you are done, click the save button to save your entered refund details. A green message on the top of the page confirms that your details are now saved and displays the path where you can retrieve the saved application. Also notice that the status is now changed to saved. You can edit this saved application if required and file the refund application later on but within 30 days from creation of refund application. Also, you can preview, download and file the refund as was described earlier. At present, in July 2018, the refund is disbursed manually once the jurisdictional authority has processed your application. So, for this from this link, you must take prints of the filed application and the refund ARN receipt generated at the portal and submit the same along with supporting documents to the jurisdictional authority. To track the application status, go to Track Application Status link. Also note the application for refund option. You can use this also to file RFD 10 for subsequent quarters. It's that simple.